Yeah, hi there. These comments, I'm just using your initials, uh, A, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass a tool for IBT. I'm going to do one video, and I'm going to listen to both of your speaking practice tests and comment in this one video. Okay, so let's start with practice test number 16. The lecture discusses the process of glacier formation, including to these people. Glacier can only form in high mountains or high regions okay. where summer does not get hot enough to melt all the snow. First, right. glacier is being to, to form when snow remains in the same area every year, where enough snow accumulates and transfer into ice. Second, each year... Yeah, be careful. Sometimes you're kind of going in and out with your microphone, so... Be careful, make sure you speak clearly into the microphone at all times so I can understand what you're saying. Okay, let me go. I'm gonna click on the rubrics too. I wanna to make sure I have I have those as I listen to your response. Okay, got it. Okay, let's keep going. New layers of snow bury and compresses the previous layers. New layers, yeah, bury and compress, that's good. Which forces the snow to recrystallize, forming grains similar in size and shape to grains of sugar. Okay. Third, good. gradually the grains grow larger and the air packets between the grains get smaller, right. causing the snow to slowly compact and increases the in in density. Fourth, after two winters, the snow turns into fern, an intermediate state between snow and glacier ice. Finally, the glacier becomes heavy and starts moving down the hill because of the forces of gravity. Gravity, right? Okay, so not bad. Let's take a look at, at this one for just a second. So... Uh, I think overall delivery wasn't too bad other than you had some microphone issues so sometimes your voice was kind of coming in and out. I wasn't able to hear everything completely. But I think overall you're speaking pretty comfortably. You had a few minor problems with some of the more technical words from the lecture. Language use, you were comfortable using the vocabulary for the lecture so I like that. Topic development, you had a good strong organization. Uh, I'm going to put you on this one, 2.66 out of 4, or about 20 points out of 30 on this practice test. Now what does this mean? Let's go into uh, ingrade for just a minute, and I'm going to put this grade in there. But first, 2.66, I'm going to look into the syllabus if you want to go to page 9. Okay, so 2.66 puts you at 90%. So you have a 90% on this one, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and listen to your next practice test here in just a minute. So uh, uh, let me go into, the, into our class for just a second. So we have, okay, here we go. So right now your grade is 75, and I'm going to enter in your practice test score here. So number four, I'm gonna put 90. And that bumps it up right there, buddy. That bumps it up to 82. So now you are passing. And let's go to the next practice test. So this is speaking practice test number one. The reading and the listening passage discusses the political and the economic effect. I would say the reading and listening passage discuss, not discusses, because you have a compound subject and it's actually uh, plural, not singular. So of advertising in people's behavior. First of all, according to the reading passage, advertising can affect people's behavior politically. For example, a candidate must have must have name recognition and people have heard about him before they choose to vote in his direction. Okay. Moreover, the reading passage states that even short 30 seconds 
has have big effect for people to vote for some people. Second of all, according to the listening passage, advertising can also affect people's behavior economically. That's right. For example, the speaker says that consumer who has been conditioned through advertising may buy a certain brand of toothpaste because they has seen it advertised. You have to say because they have seen it advertised. The speaker the speaker mentions that sometimes advertising good and sometimes bad, and we should. So be sometimes advertising is good and sometimes it is bad. So don't forget to put your verbs in the main part of your sentence. Well, okay, here you had some minor language use issues. Maybe some minor delivery issues. You had a pretty good organization. You accurately, I think, and completely explained the purpose of the main points from the reading passage in the lecture. So on this one, uh, I'm going to put you a little lower. I'm going to put you to about 2.5 out of 4, or 19 points out of 30. Now, if we take a look at our class, or the syllabus here, 2.5 it's going to put you at 85% on this assignment. So again, I'm going to go into Ingrade right now and add this in there, and we'll see what happens. So, so your grade goes up to 88. And there it is. After two years and 20 days, my friend, you have finished your ESL study. How does that feel? You're done. Think about everything that you've done, and, and don't think about it as just learning a language. Think about the discipline, the work, the character, everything that you put in to this whole process. Look what you've achieved now. I think that what you've done here is a good starting point for the rest of your life. So I really hope that you will continue to find success in your life, and hopefully your country, Libya, will stabilize a little bit more than what it is now. But anyway, good luck to you. I uh, hope to see you in the future.